name's Dr. Alistair Scarf. I am the CTO for Robotics Plus and one of the founders. Robotics Plus, we're a New Zealand-based technology company looking to solve challenges within horticultural, agricultural forestry um, is where we've really been developing our technology because we see there's such a big need in that space to alleviate some of these challenges in industry. Uh, you know, really those dirty, dull and dangerous jobs are a, a really prime sector for robotics and automation. And it's really about enabling them to get workforce into the areas that's critical for them and supplementing those areas where we can apply technology to help out. So Robotics Plus is based in the Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. So here we're in Tupuna Tauranga, which is a small little uh, township just outside of Tauranga City, um, immersed in the kiwi fruit orchards, which you know is really good for also our teams being able to get outside, test things, roll systems out the door into the orchards that are next door and really be able to apply the technology and understand it. Um, it's been a really important part of development for our, our team as, as we've progressed. The journey with Yamaha has been fantastic for us as a business. It's really allowed us to see things in a different light, um, experience what scale looks like, um, get a whole other side of a technology company and technology offering that's very complementary to what you know, we're on a mission to do within the agricultural space. With the Yamaha side of things, it's really around those relationships and, and building that between the teams. And we really wanted something a bit more that was beyond purely financial. That was one of the really attracting parts to Yamaha being that they're such a big robotics company in their own right and a vast depth of experience in that space. And also, you know, with some of the more sort of cutting edge looking to the future technologies around electric drive systems and retrofitting um, electric cars with motors and that side of things was really quite appealing to us. And, you know, that um, reputation for really robust, reliable technology is something that we really wanted to be able to be a part of. I'm Matt Jones, I'm a senior project leader here at Robotics Plus. We have an automated fruit packing robot and that uses a 16 axis robot where we pack fruit, um, apples and stone fruit currently, into fibre trays or into a tray in a box. The pick head picks up the apples and places them in the trays uh, using a vacuum and suction cup system. We can orientate the fruit to the blush side of the apples facing upwards for presentation purposes. We can align all the stems in the same direction, just again for presentation purposes. And we can run them at about 120 fruits per minute. Our challenge was um, there was nothing in the market already that does this, and so we had to develop a customised solution. Um, and in which case we needed people from all sorts of disciplines. We needed electronics, mechatronics, mechanical, um, electrical, software engineering, vision engineers. So we built sort of a, a modular system that all come together into the one robot and delivers to the requirements that the customer was seeking. We've been really developing a range of unmanned ground vehicles to prove out the systems and autonomy in multiple different environments. This isn't just about doing one vehicle for one application. We wanted to make sure we we're developing technology that was more universally applicable across a range of things. So we've developed a, a self-driving autonomous mower uh, for mainly focus on turf farms and mowing those big open fields. We've developed what we refer to as FA1, as a, a ground vehicle that was focused on sort of more canopy crops um, with a row system that we wanted to be a bit lower and more open. Um, and our main one at the moment that was really exciting we got to develop for Yamaha Motors USA was what we've referred to as UVV for now. It's our unmanned vineyard vehicle um, that is built to spray grapes um, in vineyards. But the real idea with that is again being that multi-purpose where we can pull the sprayer off it, we may put a mower on it, or we might put some vine trimmers on it or things like that, that, that can be utilised for more than just one task. A lot of our designs come from, you know, sitting down and really listening to the customer around what they require and then trying to shape the technology around those requirements. So from having that base understanding, well, the team will do is hand sketches, drawings, discussions to come up with ideas and as we weed through those ideas we can then transform those into 
the likes of CAD models, you know, computer-based modeling systems where these come to life on a screen and you can start to see what's going on. And that then allows us to take those computer models and actually turn them into the physical vehicles that you, know, you see within that we've produced. We've also built out the capability within our organisation from the doing things as well. So the physical end of the engineering, making things or constructing or pulling stuff together. I think it's been a real key part around our development and our growth as a business. Being able to do that in-house has saved us a lot of time over the years. It's often hard to picture where you know, you'll sort of be in 10 years time with how fast things are changing in the world. I'd love to see our team continuing to scale so we can tackle more of these problems um, and do them at a, a higher level as we progress the technology and move with the times and the technology that's, that's available globally. It's pretty humbling really to, to see what we have achieved and you know, to look back at times and what you have achieved and where you've come from and, and how that technology and learnings progressed and how we have been able managed to apply technology into industry to really solve some challenges and, and be making an impact is, is pretty pretty cool. That's why I do this, um, is, to, is to really make an impact and help solve some of these challenges for people is the part that gives you the buzz at the end of the day. To be able to solve more challenges over time, we just want to keep doing what we're doing. We're Robotics Plus and we're united by Yamaha.